Hey, welcome back to uh, Drafting Tutorials. My name is Casey. In today's video, I wanted to cover the uh, assembly drawing. Now, assemblies are basically just a, a workspace where you can bring all your parts in and you can start putting together an assembly. Okay, so uh, the project I'm working on for school right now requires an assembly. And I've got one right now that I'm working on, so I'll just open up the assembly. But if you want to create a new assembly, you just click up here on New Assembly. And it's going to open up something like what I'm, I'm about ready to show you, uh, which is a final project assembly that I'm working on. Okay, so I'll just go ahead and open mine up because this is essentially what it's going to look like. Um, and from here in your workspace, you can see I'm, I'm bringing in different parts you know, bolts, screws, uh, stuff of that nature. It's mechanical, and I'm bringing it into this workspace because what I'm going to do is, is start putting pieces together. Um, well, I'm not going to go in and actually show you how to put together this part because I'm not done with it yet. I wanted to show you a couple things in, in assembly here, which are pretty cool. So you can go up here to Place in the upper left-hand corner, and from Place... If you select place component, uh, you can you can go into your you know your created parts that you actually have created you know from either the assembly or uh, from a, a different drawing, and I'll explain you know parts that are created from an assembly here in a minute uh, rather than a drawing. So, for instance, I'm gonna bring in I don't know. We'll just, I'll just pick a piece here. So if I want to bring in uh, this rubber stopper piece, I hit open. Okay, and this is selecting it, a created part that I made from the, uh, the file system on my computer. So there's my part, and uh, I can bring in as many as I want too, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to show you the uh, constraint real quick. Constraints are how we get pieces to start meshing together so that you can create an object. Uh, so, for example, if you go up here to constrain, you can, uh, you can select from an angle, a mate, tangent, insert, uh, symmetry. I haven't played with a whole lot of these constraints yet. Um, the most basic one is, is a mate, okay, and it's it's just a simple constraint. You can do it flush, uh, or you can just do a mate, okay. Flush is, get, like you see here, it's going to put two objects that are flush to each other on a surface. But uh, for this example, I'm just going to give you the, bu the bolt and a nut here. I'm going to show you how this works. So if you find the center line on this bolt, you just left click on that, okay? And then I need to find the center line. This is called a center line constraint. This is good for nuts and bolts. If you know if you got a part that needs to go inside a hole. But if you see this uh, center line right here that's white, just select on that. And you can see that the uh, the bolt went inside the nut, okay? Hit apply, hit okay. And we'll zoom out. Now you can see that the, the actual nut itself <clears throat> slides up and down on this uh, bolt here. If um, we were putting this in, you know, if we were putting this bolt through an object, there would probably be some material in between the head of the bolt here and the nut. Um, and then essentially what you would do is you would take the uh, bottom surface of this nut and you do another constraint to the whatever surface it is um, you know for for material that's in between the head of the bolt and the nut so just to give you an example real quick let's just say there was material in between these two and or a surface so I would take my uh, my bolt here select that that surface right there hit constraint and you see that little gray arrow that's this pointing towards the head of the bolt right here 
that's what you uh, essentially want. Yeah, I'll zoom in here so you can see it. That little gray arrow right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to constrain it to this surface right here. And this is normally is not what you would do, you know, if you were using a button, uh, bolt and a nut, because again, you're going to have surfaces in between the head of the bolt and the actual nut. I'm just showing you how you can constrain the nut to the surface of whatever object. Okay? So this is essentially what you would do. You'd select the surface right here, whatever surface it is that the nut is going to constrain to. Select it. Hit apply. Close. And now, if I try to move the nut, it doesn't, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay? It's locked in place. And if we uh, rotate it here, you can see that it's constrained to the head of the bolt. So this surface, this bottom surface of the head of the bolt is constrained to the nut here. If I wanted to undo that, all I would do is take this Mate 2 down here, right click on it, hit delete, and now I can move it again. Okay. But right now, I still have a constraint on here, which is a centerline constraint. So if we move the bolt, so I can get a better look here, it still fits around the bolt. Anyways, I just want to show you the constraint option on the assemblies because I thought that was pretty cool. And uh, I will shoot more videos here on assemblies at a later date. If you like what you're seeing, Go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I will talk to you guys here soon.